Prostate cancer is the second most common cancer in men, and rates are on the rise. By 2030, there, there will be 1.7 million men living with prostate cancer. However, it is extremely treatable if detected early. So joining us now to discuss what men and women should know about prostate cancer is Dr. Matt Rosenberg, Medical Director of the Mid-Michigan Health Centers. Good morning, doctor. Good morning to you. Well, you know, I have to ask you right off the bat because I, I just said that men and women, what are the risks for prostate cancer and how is it diagnosed? I know in my household, if it weren't for me, my husband wouldn't even think twice about getting a test. <laughs> <laughs> You're absolutely correct. In fact, women drive health care for men. This is why men live long, I'm sorry, why married men live longer than single men because they have somebody like you kicking them in the rear end and making them come to the office. So good for you and keep it up. Your risk of prostate cancer is having a prostate. That's ah. the bottom line. And I will tell that to patients all the time. If you have a prostate, you're at risk, and we need to evaluate it. We need to evaluate it with appropriate tests. We do a digital rectal exam, and we get a PSA test. We want to see what's going on. And, you know, one of the fears that people have is they, oh, my God, I'm going to get this PSA test, and I'm going to get a biopsy. And we hear about all these unnecessary biopsies. What's true is we've done too many biopsies in the past. But we've learned over time we don't need to. See, the type of cancer we want to find is that aggressive, life-threatening cancer. We don't want to find that low-grade or what we call indolent cancer because the fact of the matter is it's a very common disease and most men will die with it but not of it. And that's a very important distinction. So what I tell the guys, come in, we're going to get the DRE, we're going to do the PSA, and this is the number. Actually, know your number. If your PSA is less than 1.5, your chance of getting prostate cancer in your life is essentially zero. If it's 1.5 or greater, the risk goes up. It doesn't mean get a biopsy. It means get more evaluation. We do an intermediary step or an intermediate step, a 4K score blood test, because that looks at different components of the PSA and helps me assess your risk of having that aggressive disease. If the risk is low, you're good to go. I don't need to do anything. If your risk is high, then I'm going to send you off for further evaluation, which would include a biopsy. You know, you hate to put it in, in this perspective, but it's almost like a great selling point for a woman to tell a man. I'm not saying all men are so afraid of going to the doctor or that they won't do it or that they think they're invincible, but it's a great selling point to be able to say, you know, it doesn't have to be so extreme. Just go get, get a few little tests. It yeah, it doesn't have to be extreme. That's the bottom line, is we get worried that we're going to go see a doctor and something aggressive is going to happen. And, and let's be honest, we, it's not like we wake up in the morning and say, hey, I'm going for my physical today, I'm going to get a rectal exam. Nobody likes that. But it's an important part of what we do. And, you know, it helps us. If we catch disease early, the treatable disease, if we catch it early, we save your life. So the fact of the matter is that you pushing your husband to go to the doctor's office is enhancing his life. So good for you and keep it up and tell him not to be scared. Are there any things that he could be doing to prevent it entirely? Well, you, you, again, your risk factor is just having a prostate. And what can you do to decrease your risk? I mean, you can never get down to zero, but to decrease your risk, what, what we know is a good, healthy diet, a balanced diet, half your plate is green. You can eat meat, but eat it in moderation. You don't want to eat all red meat, so eat fish and eat chicken. And exercise. Keep your weight in check. Healthy diet. And keeping your weight in check with exercise, I'll tell you, are two phenomenal things that any male can do to protect themselves from prostate disease as well as help themselves in the rest of their life. Thank you so much. That's all such great information. Is there anywhere you would recommend you men go for more details? Yeah, we've got a nice website, 4kscore.com. And that'll give you some more information on prostate health, prostate cancer, and some tests that you can do. All right, doctor, thank you so much for joining us. Who knows? Maybe a life saved just from these very few moments. Thank you so much for joining us on River City Live. We'll be back.